Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be diving into a bunch of brand new product from e.l.f. I have their new mattifying putty primer. I have new shadows. I have the hydrating camo concealer. You guys know I did a full on dedicated video to that $5 concealer about a year ago and it's become one of my favorites. So when I saw they had a new formula, I was like, of course I wanna try that. Just all new e.l.f. stuff. I was smart enough to bring it here to Seattle. I am currently in the process of doing a little bit of a, a glam room type of a thing. It's a freaking mess right now, but I'm gonna give you like a little glimpse into the future of what I'm trying to build. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh. I knew I was filming, so I pushed everything up against the wall. There's a lot of makeup here. Here's my piano set up, by the way. And then, dun, dun, dun. That's the setup. I can't wait to get it organized. So we're gonna get ready in the new environment so we're not just like, hey, in my living room. If you guys wanna see a dedicated video of going through my drawers, looking at all of the makeup that I have here, then make sure to leave requests for that in the comments, thumbs up this video, make sure you're subscribed, ring that bell. And without me rambling further, let's just go to the new environment and play with makeup. Welcome to my land of makeup. You guys, I actually really love this environment. It's so much smaller, but it feels cozy and serene and peaceful. And I am so excited to be filming a video, putting on makeup. Okay, let's just like get right on into it. The sound is a little bit weird in here. I'm gonna have to be perfecting things. So like, hang with me. We'll get it right, hopefully. So we're gonna start out with the matte putty primer. We're gonna have to um, ask the internet about this one. Oh my gosh. This is what I was looking at, you guys. TikTok dances. So embarrassing. But I'm gonna try and learn some. Maybe. I don't know. I used to be a dancer and it's something I really do wanna do. Cringe. But I have a lot of time on my hands, so maybe. Um, okay. Class, this says that it is a skin perfecting putty primer that is infused with kaolin and white charcoal. This velvet texture glides effortlessly over the skin, smoothing imperfections, giving a poreless effect, I like that. Ultimate grip on makeup, I like that. Okay, so they have a luminous one, they have the poreless one, and now they have the matte one. I'm only gonna use this on my T-zone. Okay, so my hands are clean. I am just gonna go ahead and sweep it on my T-zone here. Doesn't smell like anything. Actually, no, I take that back. It smells like an Elmer glue stick. Do we like that? Maybe it really will like grip my makeup to my face. It does have a dry down that's a little bit powdery to the touch. Like I can even feel it on my fingertips. So you can tell that there's that mattifying property within there. This is $8, great price. Let's dive right into some concealer. They have a new version of their camo concealer. I'm very excited about this. It is the Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. So it's not gonna be as sucked into the skin and totally dry. That is something that I do like about the original formula is that it's not overly greasy and slippery, but it definitely does have that powdery dry down. So I am curious to see how different this one is. I think it's gonna be good. I have two shades here. I have the shade Light Beige and Fair Warm. Let's go ahead and give a little swatcheroo. Very much similar to the Tarte Shape Tape as far as the applicator goes. And I would say the original e.l.f. camo is most comparable to that formula with the dry down. Okay, so I think the lighter one for sure, um, shade Fair Warm. Now, the original is an excellent high coverage formula. I had mentioned in the past that wearing it every day over and over did lead to a few breakouts. So if you have sensitive skin, I would recommend not putting it everywhere. Maybe test an area on your skin first before committing to using it to conceal larger areas of breakouts and whatnot. I have no problem with it underneath the eye, so I still use it for that. Let's go in with this concealer because even though I am here and really I'm not doing a lot, you guys. And I think that we're all in the same boat for those of us that are not out working. And again, I'll say it in every video, if you are out there working and you are participating in the healing of our community, even if you are you know, working grocery, I'm not just talking medical, 
Thank you so much. Um, for those of us that are here, I'm not sleeping a lot. Like I stay up way, way too late. So even still, I'm like, gotta conceal those dark circles of nothingness that I've been doing. What shows should I be watching? Would you please let me know on Netflix? I've watched um, Love at First Sight. Oh my gosh. I loved watching that. I was sad when it was over. I felt like I really knew them, like we were friends somehow and I started stalking people on Instagram. Isn't that weird? Like when you do that, but I ended up, oh, I am trying it on the face, why not? Um, I ended up doing that a little bit. I just, it gave like romance love feelings. Like I really felt like the, I felt the feels for the couples, you know? It was really different than say like The Bachelor. I love all kind of like dating shows so much. So uh, that one was so fun, but I need something else. I need something else. Send me your recommendations. Okay, so we're just patting this in. It does have a much more luminous slip to it. It's still pretty intense as far as coverage goes. Not bad, Elf. Not bad. I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my foundation. We're gonna speed this up. This is not an e.l.f. item, but it is one that I highly recommend. And I will continue to do so until they discontinue this. God forbid that day ever happens. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. I talk about it in my recent best and worst new foundations video. I will link that below. At the end of this video, once I have everything else on, I'll share with you guys the red lip combo. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but it's behind me on the vanity. I need to get more organized and do the description and put the makeup worn. I'm gonna do that for this video. I'm sorry, I did not do that for the last one. And then the makeup was like everywhere and I was like, I totally forgot what I used. So that's why I didn't list it. Anyway, we'll talk about that red lip. Thank you guys for the compliments. It's like my favorite red lip combo ever. I'm gonna slap on just a little bit of contouring from my very loved RCMA palette. I just need it, I crave it just like a little bit. Then we're gonna go ahead and put this guy on right here and get back to more e.l.f. product. So far, so good. Um, I mean, it was just primer, but you know, I'm loving my foundation today. I wanna go ahead and put on a little lip right now. I'm gonna use the Nabla Noir collaboration. I've tried this, raved about it, love it, love her highlighter, the pink brushes, all of it, so good. It's really creamy, I really like it. Sometimes the overlining just looks a little crazy. Hold on. <laughs> We're gonna test out this nude lippy that is in the shade Cream, and it looks pretty identical to an entire lipstick holder I have in the background. I literally swatched up, um, I swatch on my legs, which is really weird. I sit in here and like swatch my legs. I own the same shade like 20 times over, but what's one more, right? Okay, so let's go in here. Now we're gonna go in with a little gloss just to shine up the situation. Okay. I like that lip combo, that's really nice. Okay, so let's do up the face. I have a setting powder from e.l.f. right here. This is the Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. This is in the shade Light Fair. This looks really nice, like a nice compact. It looks expensive. My little NARS brush right here. Grab a little on the flat side. I like to kind of coat the brush on the side and then make sure I've patted out all the little creases and then I go right in and lay down the powder. 
when I just clean this brush, it is shedding just a little bit. Ooh, that is pff, dusty. I really like this powder. It's very extremely like fluffy, dusty. I can visually see the powder like flying everywhere, but it looks so silky on the skin. I love that, that's so good. Okay, I need a little blush. I'm gonna go in with Wet n Wild, keeping with the theme of being as affordable as possible. I know I'm using some expensive brushes, bear with me. We're gonna go in with Nudist Society. And this is just like a really pretty, peachy, warm tone. I'm gonna go in with an hourglass brush and just grab right on the tip of the brush and just kind of stamp first and then whisk it away. It's like the bend and snap of blush. You just kind of lay it down and then brush. I love blush way too much. I know you guys are probably like screaming, like put it down but I just, I can't, I just, I can't help myself. I don't have a drugstore bronzer, so I'm gonna go in with a little of the very iconic classic Hula Bronzer from Benefit, and I'm gonna take the bougiest brush that I own from Tom Ford. You know, Tom Ford brushes are really, they are good. I don't know if it justifies the price. I'm still very torn on that. I only have two brushes from Tom Ford because I'm just like, you gotta be kidding me, you know? But this one, I have to say, does such a nice job not picking up too much product. It blends things out really nicely. It's giant, so you get the job done fast. And I've had this thing and it stays in great shape. I'm using it in a drugstore video. I don't have everything that I would like to have here and we're just making it work, you know? I feel bronzed and good. I like it. I'm gonna go over everything with just another light little hit of powder before I highlight. Sometimes I like to do that just to make sure there's no harsh edges anywhere. I'm gonna take a fan brush from Sigma and I have this new guy right here. Oh, I guess I could have used this as bronzer. It's a little dark for me though. This is from L'Oreal. This is the Chromatic Bronze. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the top two shades. There's kind of like a champagne shade and like a pinkier shade. And I'm just gonna kind of mix those two together and just graze the high points of my face. I might've gotten carried away. So now we're gonna go to the eyes and maybe I should get you just a tiny, tiny bit closer. I'm gonna go ahead and try this eye foundation from Catrice. This is a waterproof shadow primer. It just started raining. We might have some natural sound effects in the background. I'm gonna be using the Earth and Ocean palette. <laughs> which is why I color coordinated today and wore a green turtleneck. Yes, I am that person that will be matchy matchy and I have no shame in my game. I like to match. You guys know, I mean, I love monochromatic. I love that whole thing, but um, to the point of sometimes it being tacky and I'm not afraid to admit that. So today I thought that I would do a look probably more in the greens, but maybe giving a hit of something fun down here. So the first shade I'm gonna go into is Desert Storm, which is kind of like a, I don't know what you would call this shade. It's got a lot of green and like yellow orangey in it. I don't know. This might be a little heavy to start out with, but Let's just see what happens. This is a beautiful color. Just even just like that. That's just like a very eye enhancing color. I really like that. It's blending pretty well. It's a little, I'm having a little issue on the outer edge, but that's okay. It's not bad, it's fixable. I love the tone though. I'm now gonna go into the shade Can't Kelp It. This palette is just one giant dad joke. I can appreciate that. All right, I'm gonna use the same brush, tap off the excess, and we'll just go right in on the outer edge. 
and I'm keeping my blending very low. Ah, there's another rainbow. It's so pretty. Now I'm gonna go in Mojave Mommy and try to build up and blend a little bit more in the crease. I am going to attempt to do something I don't do very often and we're gonna conceal the lid just a little bit. Modified cut crease, I don't even know that you would call it that. We're just gonna kind of play. Ooh, that's that e.l.f. concealer. Look, you guys, it is so pigmented. I'm gonna go in just spruced up. I don't know, sounds fun. It's a nice green. I'm wearing green. Kind of want to intensify this outer corner. <laughs> Might have been a mistake. Yikes. All right, we're just going with it. I'm gonna go in with rock bottom and just pat that on the center. Fluff it out into the outer crease. I'm gonna go in to sun yourself, but I'm gonna take a smaller brush. I'm gonna go right in here. Mm. I have a liner from e.l.f. that is the No Budge Retractable Liner in the shade Coffee, which I think would be nice, like a deep espresso shade to go with this look. And this is a pass. This is not creamy at all. Youch. Okay, that liner was not great. So I am going to attempt to go into the shade. Let's go in trenches. It's like a navy blue, but I think it'll come off more black. I feel like because it's been a minute since I've done glam on camera, I just keep going and I need to be cut off. I need to stop. I'm gonna put on a little mascara, a little lashes and pull the camera back out. All right, you guys, so this is the completed look using a bunch of new product from e.l.f. I think the eyeshadow looks gorgeous. There were a few shades that were not as blendy as others, but overall, really, really nice palette. I actually wanna try other colors from it. I wanted to do my matchy, matchy moment with the green, and I think it turned out so nice. I really like the primer. I am a little bit shocked because Normally mattifying primers, I can feel right away kind of making my face feel almost tightened. And this just feels really silky and the foundation applied beautifully on top of it. Powder is great. Everything looks really nice. The lip combo, awesome. I don't like that eyeliner, you guys know that. And the mascara that I'm using is the Bambi Lash from L'Oreal. And as promised, I wanted to share with you guys what I wore on my lips in the Best Worst Drugstore video. This is from Il Maquillage, and this is the shade Matte Geisha. And then we have the shade, uh, da, 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 da. we have the shade, this is from NARS. And I can't find where it is written on here, so I'm gonna have to put it in the description of this video, and I'll go add it to the other one. Where's the name of these? It's a dang mystery. All right, well, th this was the like fave lip combo. So that wraps up this video. I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe. Be sure to DM me, leave comments. I love interacting with you guys always, but of course I do have a little bit more time right now. I'm gonna go park it on the couch, watch some Netflix and just chill for a bit. I'm sending you guys so much love, whatever you are doing. And thanks for just hanging out and getting ready with me. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.